Sorry, I almost forgot I was at zero. Hold on, there I am. There I am! Sorry! Look at that hair and this hair. Hello! I gotta put... Look at that hair. It's a mess. Mess hair. Hello, Abdullah. How are you? Hello, Faffin. Hello, Threadsless. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> well, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the bubble machine, because <clears throat> figuring out that it doesn't, like, reach very far... I mean, I think I can just move it closer and it'll be more visible, actually. Let me just see if I can just move it a little bit closer. It's chilly down here tonight. Show. Show. I get it closer, but then away from the Arduino. So that's fun. It's pretty close. We'll see how it goes. The 20 degree pitch? Oh, sorry. Whoa! I actually live on a boat. That's what it was. Is it cat camera? I also have to make sure I go in the COM3 too because I. Oh. Crazy. Hopefully that's COM4 instead of. or COM. instead of COM3. Prefers the slanty floor? <laughs> you make me feel. You make me feel. That's what I think about. Or the like <clears throat> Jerry Maguire scene. One of those two things. I think I'm going to do like uh, cozy microcontrollers. Cozy micro, cozy microcontrol. It's hard to say.
Today is a cozy day. I'm like all bundled up in. It's not even hacker mode anymore. I'm just cozy. I don't know where. How is everybody doing? I was just looking at. Um, I was looking at how to wait for Python data with PySerial. Um, okay, so, um, it's cold, yeah, it's chilly here. Okay, Google, no, never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna ask, uh, something that would reveal my exact location. Thank goodness I did not. Um... Cool. So this is what I'm like, this is what I'm working on next. So like it waits forever, I guess, and then sleeps. Get the number of characters ready to be read and then do the read combination. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, but there's like some sort of in waiting thing. So I don't know. I got to, I got to see what pie cereal does. 44 degrees. My, what's going on with my hair? That's what I get when I shower and I go immediately to improv. Um, ugh. That would be nice. I'm so cold right now, so. Um, okay. So right now we've got the script, um, which is here. We can run it. I don't know if it will. It should work. It should work, actually. Um, I think I gotta, I don't know. I don't think the virtual environment is. Control shift P. All right, and let's see if, oh, interesting. Uh, so we just need to do this serial. It's weird. Okay, so if we do Python, Serial underscore com dot pi. We'll see. It might not make the connection because it might be in the wrong port. Oh, it's just chilling. Oh, okay, that worked. Okay, good. And the bubbles are visible if I move them just a little bit closer. But I don't know. They're definitely coming back enough that I don't feel... Totally safe with them there, but you can see them better. That looks a lot better. How close? Yeah, bubbles. And like, and I think what I need to do is, um, so this writes, right? So this, for some reason it sleeps for, I don't know. Oh, that's so that it, it waits to start. And then it writes a cue, but I think what this needs to be is a read nothing. Serial read nothing, right? Um, so if I do pi serial, wait for data. Um, I should just read the docs. I'm sure they're somewhere in the docs. Maybe I should just look at the docs first. Okay, so it says, let's go look at the docs. Okay, so waiting. In waiting, get the number of bytes in the input buffer. Hmm. Return the number of bytes in the receipt. Why would your PC need to wait for data? Does the micro send it info? No, um, it just, my PC doesn't need to wait for data. The microcontroller waits for data. Oh, the PC needs to wait for the API to get a channel point. Um, but what I could do, because I need to have it on while it waits for the API, is why I would need to read it in Pi Serial. Does that make sense? Hmm. 
Okay. Um, but if I did, if I, if I, if I change the Arduino slightly, um, a little bit, because I think I don't want the Q to be the trigger. Although I guess it doesn't really matter because so the other thing I could do is run the script somehow when, um, when I'm, 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 I'm going to leave this closed actually. So what I could do is run the script when the, <laughs> I would like the bad news first. What's the bad news, Josh? I don't know where my lip gloss is, so my like constantly putting it on isn't happening today and it's giving me like anxiety. Um so I could just run this this script every time. So it opens and then closes the serial port um with the width. Uh where does this print? Oh, it prints right here. Okay. So I don't need this. Let me get rid of that. Um I found a spider in my apartment the other day and he's been living with me for a few days and oh no, he's gone. Wait, he's gone like that's scary or he's gone like... Maybe. Point one. Somebody said three and so I just did it three. I don't think I can. You were best friends. I'm so sorry. I'm going to make it four. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Four went out for the spider. <laughs> Here's to the ones that we lost. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, there are plenty of spiders in the world. Hey, sweetie. What's up? You going to walk on my stuff? Cattail. Can you not walk on that? All right. Um, always more arachnids in the forest. There are plenty of fish in the spider. <laughs> um, what's the good news? All right. Now we need to... Really, all I need to do is... Um, now we need to automate, well, let's see if, um, I think I need to write bash for this. Oh, congratulations on your new computer. Right. I think I need to write something system. I think I need to write brat bash or something. Well, cause what I was thinking is I'd use cruise control trigger to call the script that calls this script, but I don't know. Jasmine, no. Why are you okay just stepping on the mechanical keyboard? Spiders don't eat fish? I thought spiders do eat fish. I mean, Josh, the spider might come back. You never know. All right, so let's look at what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, the. Uh, I'm going to look at like to see if I can maybe I can cruise control this. Um, let's see if I can do any script script. JavaScript code. When parameter is used, the value of parameter is JSON stringified before replacement. This is primarily for use with function. This allows parameters to be easily used and properly escaped when used in JavaScript code. For example, here's the result. So this is cruise control. This is one of the things that control my, my stream. And if I can...
I don't really know. I don't think I can run. I don't think I can run Python directly with cruise control, but I know I can run JavaScript. I know she's such a good coder too, but I know I can run JavaScript with, um, with cruise control. So I wonder if I write a JavaScript that calls the Python script that, Oh, or I could just open serial with Java JavaScript. Actually, maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I should just do that. Right. JavaScript, uh, open serial connection. Serial port open. Interesting. Oh, I don't know why I didn't think about this. The open method of the serial port interface returns a promise that resolves when the port is opened. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think I need to use Node. I think I can just use vanilla. I think I can use vanilla in cruise control, maybe. We'll think about it, but I, I think I can. So, okay, let's see. So serial port open. Uh, the serial port interface of the web serial API provides access to the serial port on the host device. On the host device? That's interesting. Instances of this interface may be obtained by calling methods of the serial interface. I never learned the difference between JavaScript and Node.js because I value my sanity. <laughs> I think Node is just a lot. It's basically a library, right? Of, of like to build, to build your code. And actually, actually it's a little more complicated because it's run. Yeah, it's runtime. So it like, it will build the code most efficiently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, because don't you have to tell it when to like initialize the program and oh, sorry, Threadsless, we won't say anything. It's not a learning stream at all and we won't talk about it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> um, what's what's okay so what we're gonna do is um the web serial api provides access to a serial port on the host device whoopsies instances of this interface may be obtained by calling methods of i gotta drop this i'm sorry I gotta stop looking at something um instances of this interface may be obtained by calling the methods of serial interface Therefore, it has no constructor of its own. So basically, I need to do the same thing, but in JavaScript. And then I need to do, then I need to call it with cruise control. And I think I'll be solid at that point. So, and this is fine. Like, there's no reason to not have this here. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do, I'm going to call it the same thing. So it's annoying. All right, so now I have serial com.js. Probably a bad idea, but I love bad ideas. So, um, so then we're gonna use this to kind of do the same thing that we did before. Uh, I should probably do npm npm install serial port, right? Um, this is not telling me how to get it. Browser specifications, browser compatibility. Full support, no support. Chrome, Edge, Opera, okay. Fence examples. Await port dot open bowed rate. Um, but there's no timeout. This might be a little bit. Hey! Oh, hey. 
serial port. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, I'll just show you. So right now, it works in. Did you know it works in Python, Alan? Were you here for this? So it like starts. Shit, there it is. Um, so it waits a little bit and then it starts, and you can see the bubbles in the background. Bubbles. But um, but I need to I need to write it in JS so I can run it from cruise control because cruise control reads functions. Yeah, I know it's overkill threadsless. It's fine. Burple. 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 Florida's already getting sticky. That's all right. We'll just make sure we have a a Swiffer or something down here and I can just had no idea there was browser compatibility for what you can't spam them can't spam them I'm gonna make it really expensive isn't it self-cleaning yeah but it's not self-rinsing <laughs> um okay so we need to write this in JavaScript so I can use it in cruise control. So let's see. The following example shows how to read data from the port. The outer loop. So I don't want to read writing data to the port. Here we go. But I need to open the port first. So let's see. Before communicating, let's read this a little bit. OK, before communicating on a serial port, next project bubble robot rinser <laughs> like a bubble like uh so like some people can put the bubbles up and then some people can start like a Roomba <laughs> that would be funny <laughs> bubble Roomba <laughs> that would be really cute but I don't this is the only floor of the house I would allow a Roomba so um that would be funny yeah okay so we've got a wait port dot open Bowed rate. So before communicating on a serial port, it must be opened. Okay, that makes sense. But this is not, where is it saying to, where is the port defined? This is a good example, but it's not telling me where it's defined. Um, close, open, connect. It's got to be connect. Here we go. Uh, ooh, there's an event listener. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Um, because my event listener can listen to the Twitch API, maybe, possibly. What's Jasmine doing with the bubbles? Nothing. I don't know. Should I see? I want to see gray flash flying through the air. New serial port. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. But where, where is the, I want to kind of, where does that live? You know, that's something that I don't really um understand i've seen the use of like creating a new instance of a class or whatever or i guess an object i'm not really sure a class but i don't really understand the difference between like writing a like i don't really understand sometimes i'll just like call it right you just call it without worrying i don't know anyway i'm not i'm not here we go. Let's just look here. Instance properties. Readable. Hey, Alexis, Alexis Perez. How are you doing? Wise Otter Bubbles. Hello, friend. I like template objects. Or uh, one instance of a class. Sure. OK. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I've got you. Aaliyah Coates, hello, how are you? I know, it was back to back and it turns out that there was a car that was like totally totaled. Um, like it was sideways. It was like, if like this was the car, right? It was like up against the guardrail like this and the top of the car, like the windows were all blown out and the top of the car was crushed. So it was pretty sad. It's going, it's going well. Yeah, it was pretty pretty, pretty, pretty big bummer. I don't like seeing car accidents like that. And it like, it looked like it had like, 
hit the guardrail on this side and then gone over. So it was it was quite a bummer. And I don't know if there were any other cars in the accident because I didn't really look. But it didn't look like it looked like if there were other cars in the accident is because they were avoiding what was happening with that car. Not like unless unless a car like ran. I don't think so, though. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was really sad. So, um, yeah. And I was going to take a picture, but I'm like, oh, no, license plates. I'll dox myself again. Always doxing. All right. So I need to oh, uh, create a new. So do I do like port equals new? Oh, no, no. But I have to install it, right? So I have to install. Is this? This is a web API, though. Hold on. Web Serial API provides a way for websites, but this isn't a website. This is just a script. But I guess, I don't know, I guess if I'm, I don't think I want to use this. Hold on, I need to think about this. Um, it probably can be used like the same way though, right? I don't know. I got to think about it. Navigator serial add event listener. I mean, technically, I'm connected via cruise control and even via Mecca Chrissy. OPSEC is hard. What is OPSEC? Um, it, isn't it crazy to think if you would have left 20 minutes sooner, you might have seen that happen? I mean, I've been in accidents and I've seen accidents happen, so it's not crazy, but it would have bummed me out or not gotten stopped at all. That I do think about Fafin. Oh, yeah, operational security. Yeah, it's wise. I'm just going to scooch this down a little. Um, Oops. A web USB? Huh. Yeah, right. Don't I need to... I need to kind of think, what is, what is it that I need to do next? Next, I'm going to just try to create the same functionality as I have in Python as I do in... But JavaScript is not run by my like it's I like it. hey coder what's up I'm trying to think I'm trying to think just assume it works the same you think so cuz I don't I have to like, I would build it, and then I'm tired, too. Oh, you're tired because you have to pack? You're moving, right? Or are you moving? Or you're, yeah, you're moving. You're not traveling. You're moving. Yeah, yeah, that's exhausting. I am sorry. Um, a Python is installed on my computer. JavaScript is run in the browser. JavaScript is also run in the browser, right, as an app. So, like, but I'm writing this so that it will be run by cruise control. So I'm, like, kind of having trouble with my brain thinking about what's going to be compiling the script. Am I thinking... No, cruise control isn't. I don't know if cruise control is a web page. I don't think so. Basically, we have a bunch of triggers in cruise control. Here, I'll show you. So this is what our triggers look like in cruise control. Basically, they say like on channel point. See this? Um, in real life word band. So then we have all these rules 
that um, follow the OBS source, right? So, um, or start, and they can start a function, but I don't think they can run Python. I don't think cruise control can run a Python script, but maybe, let me go see. Um, cruise control Python script. Let's see. I don't think it can. A cruise control enables pseudocode approach to maintain, manage and automatically. Okay, here we go. What the hell? Cruise control enables a pseudocode approach to manage and automatically handle blank. GitHub Actions support Node.js, Python, Java, Ruby, PHP, Go, and Rust. Actions. GitHub Actions make it easy to automate all your software workflows. Now with a world-class CI, CD, build, test, and deploy your code right from GitHub. I don't think... I don't think I want this. Um... But let me see, see if there's anything about Python in here. Is this the right way to go about this? I don't know. I don't really know. No Python in the... No Python. Because... Fafin, the reason we want to trigger Bubble Machine with JavaScript is because JavaScript, I already have cruise control linked to the chat. And if I can just like, if I can run JavaScript via cruise control, then I should be okay. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll just treat it the same. Yeah, and that's not really the question I was asking. Um, okay, so I don't want the answers threadless. Not yet. Just at least let me try. Yeah, Lumia Stream does the lights. Cruise Control does... Um, I don't know. Cruise Control does like in real life word ban and it responds to channel points and stuff. Okay. So the connect and disconnect events let sites react when a device is connected or disconnected from the system. Right. So I just need to connect it to the com port, right? So that's fine. So it's so it's connected to the port. Mm, let me see. Um Doesn't have any, okay, here we go. Um, JavaScript. All right, I'm back. All right, good. Sorry about that. <coughs> Hi, Piling. Won't you stay with me? I think our internet kind of sucks. I gotta be honest. I think it's an internet thing. Cause you're all I need. Jump scare did not work. I'm going to go ahead and refund that. Fuck. <sighs> 
It didn't work at all. And now I'm not, hold on. How am I? I'm good. I'm quiet today. I'm just chilling today. And I'm in a chill mood. Happy to like just hang out. So and won't you stay? Won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. All right. Uh, I don't know, Pinnick. It's not like refunding the points back to you, which is irritating. Um, but I have no idea why it isn't working. Um, quite frustrating. And it's on cooldown, so I can't even... I know. It's trying. It's trying. Hi. You want kisses? No buy? Nothing. Jump scare's not working. The buy isn't working. None of the channel points are working. Because OBS crashed. I don't know what's happened. Maybe we do too much. Maybe we're just too... Oh, and bubbles too. Fucking seriously right now? Is it because I fucked with the triggers? I did close it. And I closed the triggers. Stream's broken. Yeah, we like, we opened the triggers. Um... But that's okay. I opened the cruise control triggers. I didn't save them or touch them. I just opened them. Right. Um, should be fine. Isn't fine. So what I was saying is like, I want to have a trigger that, that just calls this and runs it. Hence, Withworth, bot is chill. Oh, bubbles are back? Hold on, hold on, hold on. How did that happen? Okay, I don't know how you're a genius. But... I feel good. I not... Hold on, my reward queue is broken now. Oh, that's the problem. All right, good. Okay. Did you get, Pin and Gamer, did you get your stuff back? I just sent it back. You should have gotten your money back, your channel point back. Oh, okay, good. So it was cruise control that I broke. Well, that sucks. Okay, so we're not going to use cruise control. Pi Lang, I have a question for you. Um, I mean, obviously I can make this, um, obviously I can put this in a function and call it. Hold on. How did I do that before? Let's see. How did I do this before? Okay. So obviously I could do... Mm, like I could put it in like a, a um, API thing. Um, kind of. Maybe that's not obvious. Maybe I can't. Hold on. I'm trying to think through what I can do with this. Because, like, it it basically, all it needs to do is be opened and run in Python. So Python needs to be opened and then run it. So I just need to call. Wait a minute. Like, I need to basically put this in command line in here. Oh, is that what I do? All right. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. 
Okay. No, that doesn't. How? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. I like haven't ever done this before. Um. Like, cause this is just. This is just. This is just me writing Python and saying serial. Com. Dot pi, and so that. Hey, Techie. Um. So that should bubble. They look better when they're closer. You can do it! I can do it, but I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, so I'm trying to think of how to call this Python function from the Twitch API. So I have to, it's kind of working. It's not, it's not working because it's not in response to anything chat did. So I have to like, I have to do something here. And I don't want it to be in TMIJS. I want it to be like, I don't want it to be the chat bot. I want it to be channel points. So I need a web hook. Maybe is that what I need to do next? I need to make a web. Can the API call the Python module? Oh, right. Cause this is a module. Can the API call the Python module? I don't, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, and even if it did, how, where would the rule live? On the, on the server? Like, where would that rule live? Please, please API. Um, an event sub, I am trying to do it off of a channel point. Yeah. Um, is the API in Python? No, no, no. Hold on. I don't know. Here is where we're at. Let's do, let's, let's make a picture. Um, so if I Scala draw this, which I think I have it, Scala draw, Scala somewhere. Um, it's like JS trying to call a Python thing, kind of. So this is, I don't, not Arduino. Uh, not, is it this? Where's the bubbles? Oh, I really want to do that pro project. I really, really do. Do I not have bubbles? It's, it's here, but I don't have, this is the, this is the hardware. All right, so we're going to do the software. All right, so then uh, Arduino was this bubble machine. It would be, it could be JS calling Python, or it could be Wait a minute. Yeah. No. Yes. I don't know. I have to think. I have to think. Probably. Yes, I think so. If I just wrote, if I wrote a function, hold on, hold on. If I make this a function, hold on, hold on, hold on. Define. No, it's a width. It's already doing the, it's already doing, and I don't need to call it. That's what's, that's what's like confusing me. Be nice. Yeah, be nicer if Python was calling Python, right? So that's what I'm trying to do. But, but, yeah, I think I might have to use a WebSocket, but I got to make sure. So what I have to do right now is um, bubble machine communication. So Twitch chat or the Twitch API, and I can use, there are a lot of ways that I'm already communicating with the Twitch API. Um, Old Sloppy, were you thinking that 
I could write a channel point that made Mecha Chrissy respond and then have the um have the uh Mecha Chrissy response be coded into I think I just have to make this an API, I guess. I didn't think I'd have to, but I think I do. I think I have to stick this into an API. But that's so counterintuitive to me. Like, what is this really? Like, this is creating a serial connection at this port. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Pylang, but would it have to be in Bash? Like, where would that live? You just have to run the file, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, all I have to do is run the file. But how could I... That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. I don't know how JS would do it either. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but but old sloppy, it's different. Like cruise control is different. I I was, hold on. <laughs> I was doing this. I went down this road and I I'm not sure I can figure it out. So like if I ran a function so it can, oh, stop. So I can run a function, I can make functions in cruise control that, um, <sighs> that, I don't really want that. I want it in the documentation. Hold on a minute. Um, it is in here. I thought I thought functions were in here because I just looked it up. It said parameters and functions. Oh, I must not be looking at the documentation. Hold on. Here we go. Um, so for the pseudo cart, here I'll show you. So this is cruise control. It's kind of like Tau. Um, if any of you know Tau. So then this is a function. It's used to create JavaScript using the input text. So can I call Python with JavaScript without an API? I don't think so, right? Like JavaScript isn't, it's run in the brow, but, but if this is running JavaScript, then there's no reason why it wouldn't work. It's so hard to think of it not being in the browser. Ship, what's up? Yeah, but I still think it might have to be JavaScript. Oh, yeah, I feel you, Fafin. I'm pretty tired too. Bubbles, how are you doing, Ship? Yeah, but Techie, what if I already have, I already have, hold on, I already have cruise control which responds to triggers. So if I can just write, a but the problem is, yeah. I should be able to write JavaScript code that is run by cruise control. Chatbot will run Python scripts? What are you talking about? Really? Hold on. Go to documentation. 
Try Streamlabs. I mean, I think I can do it. All right, hold on. So Streamlabs chatbot. All right, so this says Streamlabs chatbot scripts, desktop chat, download Python from here. Hold on, let's read this for a second. Desktop chatbot. Wait, this is a desktop. Is this a Twitch chatbot? I'm confused. It looks like Twitch. When first starting out with scripts, you have to do a little bit of preparation for them to show up properly by following the steps. You should be able to be up and running with scripts in just a minute or two. Okay, download and install Python. Configure scripts tab. In Streamlabs chatbot, go to your scripts tag. Okay, hold on a minute. I might have to log into this, so just give me uh, give me a quick minute. Stream Labs. Uh, am I already signed in? Do I need to go into the dashboard? Do I go into the dashboard? Desktop chatbot. I got you. Okay. I've got you. I got you. All right. So we've got the chatbot here. Will it run any script or just Python? What doesn't, I already have Python, silly goose. Um, okay. Sorry, old sloppy, don't get mad at me. Don't dox what? What am I doxing? I'm not doxing anything. It's fine. I don't think. All right, so then we've got, um, then we've got, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, so this, uh, oh crap, did I close that? I just closed it to scroll down on the left, okay. Mod tools, events. Events, oh, let's, uh, events. Do I make an event, a new event? Oh, join. All right, go back to the instructions. All right, I'll go do that. Uh, stream labs. Mm. All right, here we go. So it says the script tabs in Streamlabs chat box. Go to your scripts tab and click the little sun sign thing. Scripts tab. I don't have that. That's not the nicest thing you've said. Thanks, though. All right, here we go. What, where is the script tab? I don't see it. Icon in the top right corner to access. Yeah, no, there's no scripts tag here. It says console, dashboard, subscribers, commands, timers, quotes, extra quotes, giveaway, song request, sound files. I don't know there's a whole song request thing in here. Q, counter, currency, users, mini games, poll, betting, events, mod tools, notifications, and Discord. It doesn't explain how to get it. Hold on. Download, this is Python, not the scripts tag. Chatbot scripts. It doesn't explain how to get to it. That's not true. I am reading step one. What are you talking about fully? All right, give me a minute. I have to, do I need a new download? Leave settings as default. Make sure the installation is fully complete. 
in Streamlabs chatbot, go to your grips tag and click the, the on button icon at the top right. If your grips tab isn't showing, you need to connect, reconnect bot and streamer under connections. What? All right, so if I go to connections, which is not here, um, I mean, there are macros, but I don't see connection settings. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. The little person icon? Yeah, I have the little person icon, but I don't. Reconnect bot. All right, hold on. All right, so I reconnected the bot and the streamer. Ugh, this is going to break everything. All right, so I reconnected the streamer and now I close it and start it again. That doesn't make any sense to me. This is like makes no sense. It doesn't even say it's gonna come up. Yeah, I, yeah, I have no idea. I can't close it and restart it because then it would have come up in the first place. This doesn't make sense. I love when things are frustrating and confusing. It's so fun. Can I um can I close it and open it again? Or will it break everything? Doesn't matter, I just disconnected and reconnected, so hopefully. We'll see how this goes. Alright, so we're gonna reopen this. Re reopening Streamlabs chatbot and then apparently scripts will be listed now which I don't think is true it doesn't make any sense it's going to be really funny if it works but I don't think it's going to work Oh, it says my stream is offline now. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Now it thinks my stream is offline, old sloppy. Crap! Hold on. Do the T command again? All right, so, okay, it is here. All right, so it's working. It's just mad. It just thinks I'm offline or something. Ding! <laughs> All right. Uh, then we've got ma, ma. Oh, uh, ship! I'm so sorry I didn't put your music up. Did you put it in the Discord? Hi. Wait, where's your? Remapping keys. Yeah, still no scripts. This doesn't make any sense to me. What it's telling me to do does not make sense. I feel like... I don't like this. Maybe it's the wrong version? It says... No, this is Python. Go to your... There's no scripting! <laughs> Is 
This should be pretty simple though. I don't know what I did. Um, Python scripting, 61. Oh, let's go to page 61. Uh, how do I just go to 61? So many. Oh, I don't want that. I just want to go to page 61. Here we go. Hi, hi sweetie. 40, okay, 51, 60, 61. Streamlabs, chatbot, Python, okay. Oh, it's a trial. I have Python installed. Once you've done that, click on the settings icon inside of the scripts tag. It's a trial though. I wonder if I need to reconfigure it with the trial. You've used it before? Oh, that's weird. Cat, please do not hit the arrow key. What are you doing? <laughs> well, it's not there, sir. It's not there. The cat itched my nose, like made my nose itchy. Here's where the Discord is. That's notifications is right above it. Stop, Jasmine, you gotta stop stepping on the keyboard. I know, I know. How to use scripts in Streamlabs? What are uh, what are Streamlabs? Blah, 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 blah. Do not install scripts from an unknown or untrusted server. Yeah, that's fine. Wait. How to install script? Okay, install and configure Streamlabs chatbot. I think it's the configuration of the Streamlabs chatbot that's the problem. What? <laughs> She's making my nose so itchy. Hi. Washa, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> if you haven't already, hello, bouncing cabbage. Bye. Have a good day if you're here saying hi. Um, or if you're actually leaving, <laughs> it was good to see you. <laughs> um, if you haven't already, download and install Streamlabs chatbot. Fine. After installing, make sure to find follow the setup wi wizard. If you already have Streamlabs chatbot installed, make sure you're logged in on the bot, both the bot account and the streamer account. After this, make sure the scripts tab shows on the left side Jujula. of the window. All right. I okay. think it's Google. Well, here we it's go. Jujula. But like, what if it doesn't? Like, it's just like, after this, make sure the scripts tab shows on the left side of the window. I wonder if I, thank you for the follow bouncing cabbage. Um, no, kitty, stop, sweetie, stop it. So this says it's under the, under console, but it's definitely not there. It's definitely not under console. What we're doing is we're trying to get the bubble machine to respond to chat and we're going to do it. We're going to do it today. I'm pretty sure. But for some reason, Streamlabs chatbot either upload updated or this is 102.63. Maybe I have to be. Well, yeah, I'm not. Well, I am <laughs> Alan like. Maybe I was just going to say, maybe I have to be, well, no. Oh yeah, maybe. Hold on. The streamer here is Mecca Chrissy. Maybe it needs to be Chrissy Codes. Yeah, I've got a bubble machine in the background here. Let me show you. So basically what I want Twitch chat to do is this. I want it to call this Python script. It's an Arduino project, correct. I mean, it's not an Arduino bubble machine, but it's a real bubble machine, a bot bubble machine that was um, 
is hooked up to Arduino, which is hooked up to the computer. So yeah, that's what it is. I don't feel like I like this lighting as much old sloppy. I just gotta say, I wanna go back to the old lighting. I don't really like the key light where it is. I don't think it's got the right, I mean, maybe it's good for you, but it's not like, it's not the right lighting for me. It needs to be not this. Um, okay, so the next thing, what is this? Ugh. Script tabs is hidden until you connect streamer and bot account under code connection to the streamer's channel. So I just have to, I think I have to change this to the streamer's channel. <laughs> Thanks, Pyling. Because this has to be connected to the stream. I'm, this is the wrong, this is Mechacrissy. Uh, Mechacrissy is not the Twitch streamer. Why are you saying yeah? What are you saying? Okay, you're, I'm gonna time you out. Go away from me. You're being a dick. I understand I can't time you out because you're a mod, but stop being a jerk. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just don't know if I, I don't know if I can get the OAuth token. Okay. So if I generate token, does it change? Ugh, this isn't gonna work. I don't know how to generate this token as Chrissy codes. I don't know how to do this. Like if I generate token, it doesn't change anything. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's not generating the token for some reason. Should it? Am I doing something wrong? So basically what I'm, then click connect, it's, there isn't even a token. <laughs> How can I do that? I am hitting generate. Generate, generate, gena, generate, generate token. Not working. Hit generate, y'all. Clickety click, 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 click. Clickety click, 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 click. <laughs> okay. All right. Jujulet. Oh, all right. Jujulet. Google. Well, here we go. It's Jujulet. Okay. Jujulet. I'm trying to Jujulet. The cat is like literally resting on the keyboard. She wants to code so badly. Yes. Hit generate, generate it. Close it, generate it. So bossy. Everybody's so bossy in here. I feel like I'm not, like what is this music? <laughs> is song request working? I don't like this music. Oh, who who did this? Did someone do this? Oh no, this is lo-fi study beats. Yeah, I don't want it. Do some of this for me. Okay, so this is back on. Now I go here and the streamer is Mecha Chrissy again. If I change it to Chrissy Codes. Hey! Yeah, that doesn't work. Hold on. I don't know how to do this. And if I, 
It's the sound of Alan, yes. And then if I let it go, it just doesn't generate. I know it won't show my code. I know it won't show my code. I know that. Oh, is someone saying it to be careful? I did do that. I already did that. I've done it multiple times. Without replacing Mecca Chrissy? But <laughs> the whole point. Hold on. You. Mm -hmm. I feel good. I I would we have to change that. Because be even though it's like scary, it's like. It's not really a jump scare, but like opening a website. Yes, I understand that. It's not working though. Did you get scared, bouncing cabbage? I'm so sorry. The fuck? You think it's perfect? Yeah. It's it's good. <laughs> All right, so it doesn't make sense to me. It so it reconnects just fine when I do Mecca Chrissy, but that doesn't make sense. I have to be connected to the same. I did this already though. I don't know. It says to the streamer's channel. Yes, I hit generate. Yes, I did not just sit here and like I hit generate. I'm clicking generate a thousand hundred times. This is okay. It's part of my stream. I'm connecting it. It's not a big deal. It's not. Okay. And then go to the streamer one. I've done it. I've done all of what you're saying. I've deleted it. Yeah, I've done all this. I don't know. It might be because I'm connected to stream. What's happening? Oh, okay. So what's happening is I'm using Streamlabs chatbot because there's a script. Hold on. There's a scripting feature in the Streamlabs chatbot that I'm trying to use to connect to the bubble machine that's behind me. And it should, it should allow me to run a Python script, but it says in Streamlabs chatbot, go to your scripts tab and clip this little sun thing. Now, if I can't do that, I need to connect and reconnect the bot and the streamer under connections. But the problem is when I open Streamlabs, here we go, chatbot, um, it is connected to Mech Chrissy on the Twitch, right, which it should not be. Right, I understand. Um, but it's still not working for some reason, so it's weird. So like this says Twitch bot is Mecha Chrissy and the streamer channel is Chrissy Codes. 
But this says the Twitch streamer is Mecha Chrissy, but that's not real. <sighs> sure. Uh, sure. And it's still not de generating the token. And then the weird part is when I disconnect. This happened once before where I couldn't generate the token in Streamlabs. It sucks because like this is the easiest solution. This is a very easy solution. Yeah, it's not a big deal, old Safi. We can find another way. Unfortunately, I'm an expert at the Twitch API because I've written so much tooling. Um, yeah, the sound of Alan just keeps giving. It just keeps giving. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Yes. Um, Jasmine is talking, yeah. I need all the help. Okay, so... Um, I think, okay, hold on. Uh, let me see if I can troubleshoot um, Streamlabs not generating token, because that's really what's happening. Um, how do I enable chat? Okay, hold on. All right, so here we go. Let's see if it's got, oh. Okay, can I use custom name for the bot? You sure can. Mm. You simply have to generate the bot's OAuth token using said Twitch account. I Have I tried restarting my computer? Kind of. Why do you read docs? Ugh. Abstractor to make it simpler for me. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good to try to do it yourself, but I think like this should be so easy. The annoying thing is Streamlabs has this capability. It's so annoying when it's like, yeah, I have that capability, but for some reason, this one thing that you need right now isn't working right now. And it's like, what the hell? It doesn't make any sense. It's really okay. Um, please, please reauthorize your Streamlab connection once. <laughs> Is it helping? Is what helping? The hoodie is back. Is the hoodie helping? A little bit. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Select custom and jest. Okay, hold on. This will open your browser and allow you to generate a new token. Copy your token and go back to <laughs> the bot and place it in the token field of the Streamlabs tab. Streamlabs socket IO API key. Streamlabs cloud bot. Well, let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Problem with Streamlabs. The generate. Here we go. Problem with Streamlabs. The generate token does nothing. When I try to get support server on Discord, nothing happens there either. I can't find a link. Any help would be appreciated. The generated token button attempts to open a website in your default browser. This tends to be troublesome at times. Try to explicitly set your browser in the Windows default app setting. All right, let's try that. Maybe my browser is not set correctly. So.
Okay, so then I do... Uh, I want, like, the settings, right? I want to, like, set it to the right default apps, is it? Default apps? Yeah, default apps. So if I default... Um, let's see. Chrome? Let's see. I don't really want it to be Chrome. It's Firefox right now, which is Mecca Chrissy. But like, how do I... The C++? Uh, do you want me to send it to you? I didn't get, I didn't get, um... Is like, is this a different, what is a token request? Is it a get request? It's an HTTP request, right? One of these. So it is, I think, I think it, it should work. Twerple? Sounds like a satire. I'm building a bot because I want to get better at TypeScript learning stuff. TMIJS for React stuff and Twerple for Node stuff. The Twerple docs are, I like the word Twerple, it's just fun. Uh, okay. Let's see. I don't know. I'm just gonna do this for now. It sucks, but it's going to be that for now. So then now, if I close everything and I now close Streamlabs chatbot, wait, let's see if I can generate token without. So disconnect, generate token, it's not going to matter. It just doesn't. It, I click this and it just nothing happens. It just does not care. It's not interested in me. I wonder if the problem is that... I don't know. I guess I should try a different solution, yeah? Like maybe just move solutions, I guess. Because like this is just... It's even though it's supposed to be really easy, it's like not working. So it's like at a certain point. Have a weird bug with an object function, finding its context to the global context. Yeah, it could be because I'm live. Maybe. Change more defaults to Chrome. Oh, the defaults to Chrome. I don't, why wouldn't it be opening Firefox though? It doesn't make any sense. It should, it, it should be. All right, change all the details. <laughs> to Ooh, ha, ha, ha. All right, now I've got pretty much all the defaults set to Chrome. I still don't think this is going to work. So we go here and we do disconnect. Hello, Tech Doofus. What's up? Yeah, I think I'm done with the solution. This doesn't make sense for one. What is up, friend? How's it going? So annoying when you do that. Now I have to change all the defaults back to Firefox. That's all right though. How was your stream? It's just on like 90s music. Oh, the raid music. Yeah, the raid music is nice. It's not on 90s music. <laughs> I was being silly. All right, so this is back on. It's going to go one more time. Um, but I don't understand this scripts nonsense. It's really frustrating. This is probably one of the most frustrating things 
because I know <laughs> the capability is like right there. I guess so. <laughs> oh yeah, congrats on the job. That's right. Hold on, Alan, would you say if this, is this a token you can pull from the Twitch site directly? No. <sighs> no. Bye. I mean, I guess if I like wrote, no, cause, cause it's gotta be specific to the, the app. Like OAuth tokens are specific to the, like they would be specific to Streamlabs. But, Bubbles! Uh, yeah, I think it's because I'm live. I bet it's because I'm live. That would make a lot of sense to me. If, if it's me being live. Hey, F3R! Oh my goodness, y'all. So many bubbles! Bubbles make me so happy, it doesn't matter. Bubbles make me happy. It's all right. It happens, tech. And that's why. It happens because they're so cheap. Because they're cheap. All right, chill out. Can you feel the love tonight? Once you get the bubble machine to work, get ready to stock up on a lot of soap. Bouncing cabbage, they're going to be so expensive. It is not going to be that easy. You counted 5,482 bubbles. That's a lot of bubbles. I'm going to bed because I'm 80. Okay, have a good night, Tech Doofus. Thank you for raiding. I appreciate you. Um, I, I need to figure out how to do this another way. It's frustrating because it, wait, wait. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We're not going to do it another way yet. Manual token generation. <laughs> Can generate token. Make sure there is an exception for the bot in your firewall. Uh, if nothing else, you can manually generate some tokens through these links. All right, hold on. Let me hide all the things. I have a feeling this isn't going to work though. But let's try it. Okay, it did connect. Did connect. Chrissy codes connected. And then the Twitch bot probably needs to. Uh, 
connect. Okay, that didn't work. Did I fuck it up? Shit. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> All right, so this is the bot token. The bot token needs to be through Chrissy codes, right? Because it's not technically Mecca Chrissy, even though Mecca Chrissy has the name. Let's do this and then go back to this, connect again, generate, oops, connect. Oh shit, it's invalid. Now I fucked it up. The bot token is Mecca Chrissy. I think they have to be both the same though. Okay. Fine. I'll try it again then. But it said that, uh, hold on. It's not working. I just did this for Mecca Chrissy and it's not working. This is so fun. <sighs> it belongs to Chrissy Coates. Wait, the generated OAuth token seems to be invalid or doesn't belong to Mecca Chrissy. It belongs to Chrissy Coates. You haven't made it. I do have a different. Hold on. Hold on. It's it is not a. Okay, this is definitely Mecca Chrissy. Do you see this? Mecca Chrissy. Oh, you don't see it. It's definitely Mecca Chrissy. I can show you for a sec. For a hot minute. Um, yeah, I know. You're telling me, like, I know this. I know everything you're saying. But. I know. Pretty much giving away my soul, Techie. I think that's what happens. Mecca Chrissy takes my soul away. So sad. And then I take this out because it's a Mecca Chrissy one. And I connect. And then it says it's wrong. I know. I don't like Streamlabs OBS. I just said my password. No, I didn't. Yes, I used the bot link. Stop. At, I mean, yes, I did use the bot link. Yes. Streamlabs chatbot. It's in the top. That's not true, Nick. I know it doesn't belong to me. I just authorized with Mechacrissy. Stop telling me things that I know aren't true. No, it does not work. This generate token issue does not work. It does not work. No, everything you're saying I've tried and it does not work. Nothing works at all. Go ahead, tell me to hit generate again, wise otter. Go ahead. Go ahead, tell me to do it again.
Like this should work. Th even so, like this is connected, right? This is connected to Chrissy Codes and Mecca Chrissy. And it is just not <laughs> working. It's just not working. Like this, oh, <gasps> y'all, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay, so now that we have this here, we're just, we just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna shh, shh, it's fine, shh, 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 it's fine. Mm, shh. Cat's on my other hand, so I can't type with two hands. All right. For Python 2.7.13 directory, I have no idea. I have no idea what Python I have. You need to set the lib folder location in the Python folder you get from installing. Ugh! Okay. All right, so now I have to configure this. Whoops. This icon? Oh, it's already connected to Python. Uh, of course. <laughs> Seriously. Hold on, now I got to change this shit. Uh Yeah, I'm going to generate it again. Okay, now it's a new key. Oh, whatever it is right now. Navigate to your Pythons. I don't even know where my Pythons folder is, so it would be in C drive. Let's find Python. Yeah, that's where it is. That's where it is, I think, old sloppy. As long as it's the right version, but I think that's right. We'll see, we'll see if it goes well. All right, so we basically do that. Then import scripts into your bot. First, you need to download a script for the Streamlabs chatbot. And we, re we, re we recommend to only download scripts. Wait a minute. Okay, these scripts. Okay, I already, a pop-up should appear. Hold on, what the f Then all you have to do is press open. What is going on here? So like, this is basically saying, first you need, after downloading the file to a location you remember, head over to the scripts tab of the bot and press the import button on the right corner. This, import. Okay, so let's go find a desktop. Why is it only looking for zip zip files? These scripts should be downloaded as a zip file after. So I need to zip this. Why would I need to zip a script? This is so weird and convoluted. Hold on. I got to go zip this script for some reason. <laughs> like what? Why? Oh, this is good fun. All right, I got to close it here. And then I have to zip it. I have to zip it. This is the most bizarre thing I've done to get something to work. This feels so ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's working fine, but it feels weird. Like, 
It just feels weird. All right, so we're going to copy it first. Uh, it's weird because I feel like this isn't going to work. Maybe it will, though. All right, here we go. So we're going to copy it. I'm just going to copy it and paste it. Um, and then I'm going to zip this one. Compress to zip file. Sure. And then we upload import the zip file. We got to import the zip. What are you clipping? What are you clipping, Ricky Santa? <laughs> are you just trying all the commands? By the way, welcome. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I don't think I've like, yeah, yeah, no, I, that's okay. Ah, okay. So we're going to go to get this zipped script, which isn't here. I don't understand. Oh, yeah, it is. Here it is. All right. Script has been installed. Okay. How come I can't see it now? Hold on. All you have to do is press open. That's not, I don't think that's what's happening. It did not upload. So it did not import the way I thought it should. I don't know, might have taken shorter just to rewrite it all. It seems like you already have a version of the script installed. Are you sure you want to install this version? Doing so will write, re overwrite the old version of the script. Okay, so I'm going to say no. But then where the hell is it? <laughs> like, what happened? All right, I'm going to close it and open again. Yes, I do want to close it and open it again. This is how many times have we heard Alan's intro music? <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. All right, good night. I think we're almost there. One's more with feeling. All right, let's see if scripts, it, so it's not showing, which is weird. Reload scripts. What the hell, y'all? What? No, it's 100% a script. 100%. But maybe I need to have like an init file and stuff. Like maybe it needs to be, let's download one. Let's see if we can find one. Actually, let's see if we can find one. Um, Streamlabs Python script. Um, let's see. Streamlabs chatbot script. All right, here we go. Creating a Twitch command script with Streamlabs chatbot. Because I think I might be missing like an init file and... Uh, Twitch account, Streamless, uh, PyCharm, Python, 3.7. But Streamlab chatbot works with a compiler that works with 2.7.13. Don't shoot the messenger. After this open Streamlabs, go to the script setting, go to the this. I'm doing that. That's fine. What are we building? I don't care. Basic setup. I don't care. For the Python script to be picked up, as a script for SC, the format should be command underscore streamlabsystem.py. So I need to have it, I need to this to be the name. I think I need to change the name. Uh, so let's unzip this. Um, 
serial underscore stream labs stream labs i got to just change the name system uh serial let's just do this all right so now i need to change this to i need to change the name Mer. not it's i'm close piling i just have to like Stream Labs system. All right, so let's start by creating a Molder directory. I don't know what that is. You're free to choose where this, where to create this directory as long as it's name the same as command. Okay, it is Stream Labs system. Yeah, I've got that now. Pro tip: If you create it in an internal SC script directory on your machine. We'll see it of a lot of work. I don't know what that means. I don't care. I mean, I do know what it means, but I don't care. The bubbles are now sentient. <laughs> the bubbles will attack me. Um, okay. Basic structure. SC won't show your script in the script section unless it contains at least the following. Okay. The set of global variables SC uses to populate some of the fields in the script section. Okay, so I need all of these and I need an init function, which is, I knew I needed that. All right, so I need to, to, to change this a little bit. I'm missing some of the, of the configuration it needs. So we need to add script name. Wow, great, cool, fantastic. Equals, uh, serial, then website equals Chrissy, let's just do nothing real. It said it can be anything I want. I don't know why, okay. Description. Bubbles! We're almost there, we're so close. Um, starts bubble machine. All right, and then creator. Chrissy, version one. All right, script initializer. So now I need an init function, which I knew I needed before, but I did not have it. Okay, script execution. Script execution, the execute data method is run by SC every time any command is typed into the Twitch video chat. We'll address how to filter only the Mulder command in a bit. The data parameter is passed by SC. Wait a minute. I'll be hella frustrated if this is just a command. Wait, well, maybe because you'll also have to figure out how to get Streamlabs chat. I think I can do that. Yeah, I don't understand this. This is really weird. A command is not fine because I don't want it run all the time. I want it to be expensive, very expensive. I do not want bubbles all over the place. How can a command be okay? Because we can respond with the bot. Okay, it's fine. I got you. I think I understand. Kind of. Um, I think I understand. 
Um, okay, the data parameter is passed to the S by SC automatically and contains information about the sender and the message. Yeah, I get it. I, I think I understand. I'm just going to do it, basically get the chat bot to respond. Well, sure. <laughs> okay, script iteration logic. The tick method is returned every time the script progresses. So every tick, as the name suggests, this is the logic that runs even when there's no incoming data or anything in chat. It just runs continuously. Let's add it to our script. Let's just put stuff in our script for no reason. Let's do it. We got this. What's wrong? Who is writing this? I don't know. Me? Right, now we have what we need, so SC will at least acknowledge our hard work. Your file should look like this. If your file doesn't look like this, make sure to make the necessary adjustments. Okay, here we go. So I need to put the, but I need to put the imports. Oh, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. How is this going to work? This does not feel like it's going to work. I know this is not Python. It's weird, but it says that the Streamlabs isn't going to recognize it if it's not like this. So you have to do it like this, Pylang. But yeah, it's giving me a little bit of a stroke. Well, it's not as miserable as like writing the webhook techie. I mean, I, that would take a lot more like it would take me at least like six hours to go through that. So yeah, define init return so for real. Like, what is this? Like, it says that it says right here that it's. Like what? This is just how SC runs it, I guess. I pulled down a few scripts from the Discord if you want to look. What do you mean, Alan? You mean in the Discord? Hold on, I'll go look. Where'd you put it? I don't see it. I hope so. Oh, I see. Um, I don't, I feel like this isn't gonna work. So it says implement the logic. So in execute, in this one, I do if, Data dot get param. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do at all. If data dot get param, this makes sense. The first parameter is not equal. What is this? This is very confusing. <laughs> uh, exclamation point bubble. IRL bubble. Um, then return. Jeez. Okay. Then I have to put. Hold on. So then I need to do this. Essentially, this syntax error. What are you mad about? Does this need to be, it just needs to be indented? Probably. 
All right, so I do need the if statement before this. And I need to put it here. So the if statement goes before this nonsense and the with goes after. Okay. Up. Don't want the return. This is so weird. Syntax error, what are you cranky about? Okay. Our command should state whether something is, someone is extraterrestrial or not, based on probability. Oh my God, no, okay, hold on. Send message, okay. Oh, this just sends a message. Like this should work. But first off, go to, okay, so I have to, so now I have to, Ugh, okay. All right. First off, go to the script section of S of Streamlabs. Reload the scripts as before and make sure you enable. So, um, but do I, I still need to zip it, I think. So I need to save this, which it should auto save. I'm not really sure what's happening here. Line too long. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care right now. So, all right, so that I need to zip now. All right, so, and I need to change the name again, right? It said the Streamlabs. If this is a lie, this is the biggest troll. Stop it. It's not letting me rename it for some reason now. Like not, why isn't letting me rename it? Can I just rename it here? <laughs> oh, I should probably do exclamation point serial just in case it needs yeah, because it'll need the name of the command, I think, right? Yeah, I think that's what it's going to need the name of the command. So I need to change the inside of it. I'm a man toker. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but I just, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Command shouldn't matter, right? Like it should just follow the rules, but I don't know. That's how much I, I'm going to make a copy of this. And then I'm going to zip it. And once it's a zip file, then I can import it. And I go to here, open it, okay, and then reload. Oh my god, this is not okay. <laughs> I don't under, I don't think this is working. Open readme file.
Like, I don't understand. I don't. So it's not a sound file. And this doesn't have the action of calling it. It's just like, I don't even understand. I don't like this. This is dumb. That's the medium I just looked at. Python wrapper. Custom script for Streamlabs chatbot. Start Streamlabs stream with Python or command prompt. Getting started with OBS scripting. This guide. All right, let's try this one. Did that. This is not working. You might have missed some of the steps above or got hold of a broken script. Guess it could be a broken script. Did that tutorial have a UI file? I don't think so. Uh, I can find it pretty quick, though. <sighs> I swear to be. The, this is the medium one. Oh, no, that's GitHub. Sorry. Uh, here we go. You're looking for this one, Alan, to see if they had... This article still very much does the trick, but there's more bite-sized series you can find here. Oh my god, this is exhausting. How to create command scripts for trip, but they had too much backstory and unnecessary additions. Okay, it's still the same. This is the same. If you took advantage of the pro tip early, this is going to be a piece of cake. What pro tip earlier? I did do that. Wait, did I not save it in the right spot? This one? All right, let's try this, I guess. Um, can you like, can you send it to me, Alan? Like, I don't see that. I don't think. Ugh, ugh, ugh. People who don't either know what they're doing and just don't communicate it correctly. This is annoying because it says, here, I, let me see this. Fine. I don't care. All right, so we're on Discord. And...
Where is slobs? Okay. And scripts. Okay, scripts. Uh, so if I looked at this. I think it's fine. Okay. <sighs> All right, so you're saying it's got a readme and a UI config. And the UI config, Jesus. Uh, why? Why? Yeah, I got it. For real, Techie. Hmm. All right, let's try this. Let's just see, because maybe what I can do, I mean, it makes sense to build your own when you've got some, okay, so that worked. All right, hold on, let's try to, we're gonna cheat, we're gonna do serial. And then we're going to call this serial. And then we're going to open this in VS Code. Um, all right, and we're going to, all right, then we're going to open the other one. We're just going to open the original, I think. It's probably the easiest way to do this, is just open the original Visual Studio Code. Import serial could not be resolved from source. Mm. That's fine for now. I do once per line. And I just get rid of this nonsense. <laughs> What's funny? You see system pass shenanigans? Why is that bad? Is that scary? It's hackery. It's better than, I mean, what should I do instead? Uh, cereal. Like th this is hackery, but I mean, I'm hacking more. Wait, why do you feel attacked? Chrissy? This is technically version two, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh, I just, I just did the wrong one. Whoopsies. Hold on. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Because I need to change this. Right, right, right. Okay.
What is it doing? Oh, these are the rules. I don't need to worry about this nonsense. I don't need to do this. I don't have any global variables I need to mess with. Or I shouldn't, anyway. I don't think I need this. I hope. I hope not. We'll see. Yeah, I don't need any of this. I don't need any of this. This is the setup, essentially. Except they put it in execute. I know, I know. This feels silly. <laughs> this feels really weird. Uh, and then we put this in there. I just won't save. Well, it's a copy anyway. So then we do this. This feels weird. And then I gotta go back. Hold on, I gotta go back to... This. All right. I think this is the best. If this doesn't work, it's because I stink. Oops. All right, so we're good there. I just deleted all the globals. And I just want this. And I don't need any of this. Any of it. I don't think. But we'll see. So then I need to change this. How the hell do I rename this? Rename. All right, so let's see. This shouldn't matter though, Alan, this doesn't matter. Like this UI config is just the interface. It shouldn't matter. There isn't an output file. I don't need to read anything in here. I'm just not sure. Instead of Twitch? Honestly, because Old Sloppy said that it had a Python, it has a Python script reader. So I can kind of capitalize on that, but it's not really working well. Anytime I take advice, it just doesn't work well. So let's try to zip this. It's not really the version either, so it's kind of hilarious. And let's just see if it's got the right, like if it even, and it doesn't install. Something is wrong with this script. Yeah, it wants a zip file. And not only does it want a zip file, but it wants a zip file that I'm messing up. So, yeah, I think I'm done with this. I think I'm done trying this. I don't want to do it from this thing anymore. It took a while because I couldn't even, like something else had been broken in Streamlabs. So it's just kind of a pain in the ass, honestly. Yeah, it's not great. It's definitely not good. Um, it's not even clear like what they're really doing. Um, like I can't tell. Ugh. 
Well, I guess they could try Lumia Stream. Lumia Stream writes, does scripts. I don't the problem with using the Twitch API directly is I don't really want to create a Python API and like how am I gonna how am I gonna I don't want, I, I know that. Yeah, I know cruise control has that. I know, I need to, no. I mean, I don't know. I've never really, I've never really like, I don't know how I w could open. It, it just really doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Okay, hold on. call this is ridiculous <laughs> uh, no this is not what I want to do that's not what I want to do I'm I'm just gonna look to see hold on Lumia stream on Python script. It's probably going to be the same thing, honestly, old sloppy. Like, it's got to... It I don't think Lumia Stream can run Python scripts. It has to be an API. Also, this anno this song this music this song is annoying. I'm just gonna skip it. Does any did anybody request this? Oh. You start the script. It subscribes. No, I don't want to make an API. I don't want to make an API endpoint. What? I'm not dealing with. I'm not doing Django. I'm not doing, wait, hold on. Are you supposed to be making an API? Is there a simple way to do it with a native HTTP module? I'm reading, hold on. So you don't have to deal with Django fast API. I could try a WebSocket library, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to make an endpoint. Um... Okay. Not you. Uh, okay. I'm just going to delete some stuff. Hold on. Mm. Hmm. Okay, I can use this. This seems pretty simple. All right, let's try this guy. Let's see how quickly we can do this because I'm like, I can't, I'm not going to be able to leave until I finish it. You please have to go away. File, open folder. Uh, okay. Um... All right, so this is where it lives. I'm gonna get rid of this because it's nonsense and awful. Um, and I all of this. I don't want all of this. Uh, I don't even want this to be honest right now. I just want to keep the stuff that works. 
and then use this. Okay. Close Discord. Where is the code I just set up? I can do a Twitch token though, I think, Techie Girl. Like I can just run it. Like I don't have to run it all the time, right? I think I can I think I can still do a Twitch token. Oh, okay. Hmm. Tools scripts. Tools scripts. Python settings. Uh, let's see. Okay. Python not currently loaded. What does that mean? Now it is. Why would it not be currently loaded? Python scripting in OBS is not intuitive in lots of parts. Problem with OBS Python is that it doesn't know about the channel point redemption. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, cruise control does though. Right, doesn't need to if we can link it to a cruise control action. Cruise control can watch for a channel point and trigger OBS action. Can you execute arbitrary OBS actions via cruise control? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Maybe. I don't know. So scripts. All right. Hold on. Because bindings to the entire. Hold on. I'm going to read this whole thing. Scripting 21 adds support for Python 3. Scripting can be accessed there. Added, removed, reloaded in real time while the program is loading. It has to match my OBS architecture. We must select Python path in the Python settings tab. All API bindings are provided through OBS Python module in Python. Because bindings to the entire API are provided, it is possible to leak memory or crash the program with an improperly written script. Well, fuck. Please exercise caution when making scripts and check the memory leak counter in your log file to make sure your scripts... I don't know if I want to mess with this. Um, please treat the API bindings as though you were writing a C program. Fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> Excuse my language, Piling. I know you're the only one that cares. No. Stress test, how are you doing? Thank you for the follow. Thanks for hanging out. I just left C. I left C so that I could do Python. No, oh, fine. I'm glad C language is the best language, but I don't know it. And I'm done with this project. I'm tired of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's so terrible. Did you unban? I'm not doing this. I am not doing this. Okay. 
we're going back to this Twitch API. All right, going back to this. A full... Okay. What's this? How many people are using this? Hold on a minute. Four days ago, 953 commits. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two active issues. Hold on, I need... Give me like a month. Still five commits. Okay, so it's got some commits. Can I look longer? Why can't I look longer than a month? No, I see it. It says it's there. Hold on. Let's let's do that though. Oh, okay. All right, got it. Yeah. So, it looks like Hold on. When did this start? For when was this created? How old are you, friend? I'm gonna see how old. Um, created 183 stars, MIT license, 10 watching, 26 forks, 44 releases. This is a full implementation of the Twix Helix API, pub sub, event sub, and chat in Python 3.7. Install using pip. Um, is there a way to, I mean, like 183 stars is okay, but like, where do you, coding vibe, hey, hey, you did an Arduino, hey, T, what's up, T, I think I'm just gonna risk it, how's everybody doing, hello, hello, I'm gonna risk it because I'm tired and this is how mistakes, big mistakes are made, so. Hey, that onion, how you doing? Yeah, it's good, Ray, it's good vibes. Good good vibes, especially, especially when coding vibe comes in. Um, You know what we could do is, all I wanna do is literally write Python like, why can't I just call Python from, from anywhere? I know the answer to that, but like, why couldn't I just like, what if I, what if I just like, what if I just snuck it into the vibes API? Yeah. Like maybe I could just, <laughs> I could just put it in one of my sentiment. Uh... I can call Python from anywhere. Well, maybe I still know how. Cause, cause where I want to call it is, is right here. I'll show you cat. What are you doing? Where I want to call it from is my cruise control triggers. We might have to refresh cruise control here. This is where I want to call it from. And I can't. <laughs> I cannot because this is pseudocode and it there's more shit abstracting this. So Piling, where does that live? Where does that info live? Subprocess.run? It'd be more work to call it than it would be to write the... I have a Python script that runs the bubble machine. It's right here. Wait, no, it's right here. Ah, oh, fuck. Did I delete it? Jesus. Sometimes. 
No, no, I can't even see myself. I've got something blocking it. Oh good, I deleted everything. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my goodness, she just lovely. Oops, so annoyed. All right, hold on. All right, this one's fine. This is this is fine. I'm just going to rename it. So this is what will work. Uh So this will work um, and run bubbles. If I just type Python serial underscore com dot pi, it'll run bubbles. Bubbles are running, not those bubbles, other bubbles. T! It's fine. I didn't delete anything by mistake. I don't want to... No, I don't want to call it there. No, I don't. Absolutely don't. I really don't want to do it. Why would I... Why would... Why? I mean, it seems like the only way to do it. But I don't want to do it that way. Okay. But I don't want to do a sub process in Python. I want, I don't want to do it that way. I mean, it's the way I'm giving up, but I don't, the reason I don't piling is because I want to run channel points. I fluff. Thank you for the subscription. Damn 11 whole months already. 11 months. Oh, I need sub badges. Um, jellies. Fluff, how are you doing? What I would like to do. I'm. Mm, I feel that. I feel that. What are we trying to do and won't? And what do we don't want to do? Okay, we're trying to get Twitch chat to be connected to my COM4 port. So that when a channel point redemption happens, this script, this Pi script, I don't even care. I just want, I just want Twitch chat when I want a channel point redemption to run this script in Python. That's all I want is a channel point redemption to run this script in Python. That's it. Hold on. Run Python script with channel point redemption. Which. OAuth is, I'm trying to abstract the OAuth away. Channel point redemption lives like a billion different places. It li lives in Streamlabs. It lives in, I mean, it lives in the Twitch API. That's where it's born. But we also have it working with cruise control, Streamlabs, and Stream Elements. T! Good luck. <laughs> okay.
Hmm. I didn't mind the Twitch API. Why didn't I like the Twitch API? What happened to the Git version of this? Oh, it's right here. Okay. I feel like I just do this. And I just get the Twitch token for now. Yeah, I think this is okay. Event sub lets you listen for events that happen on Twitch. Hmm. So we only have to deal with the Twitch API? Uh, no. Hold on. Some extra questions that I'm sure you've... Is your Arduino... Set up, no. It is not set up to receive web requests. I don't have, no. I didn't want to write that much C, honestly. <laughs> Understandable. Thank you. Um, I I really think it's not really about the C as much as it is not adoring. Like I like the results of this product project, but I don't really love this project. And I'm really missing. Oh, by the way, T, welcome back. Today was an amazing, and I'm sure it'll say to be myself. Oh. Um, like I'm just I'm excited about the results of this, but I didn't have as much like I just didn't there's just not as much joy in like I really like the hardware. And I really I really do. I like I I think like building more of the hardware would be fun. Um but like I'm just not ready to learn a new language to do that. That's all. You know, I think that's it. I think it's just like, I'm just not ready. I just don't want to yet for that specific thing. If I was like really motivated, I would. I would learn a new language for something I was like excited about. And I am like, this is cool, but it's like, man, it's okay. It's okay. It's, I'm learning some things. I'm learning a lot, which is good, but. All right, let's let let's install this. Let's try this. This doesn't look too bad. Um All right. So this is the Twitch API. Initialize the Twitch instance. This will also by default this will by default also create an op app authentication for you. Run this example. Wait, Twitch app ID app secret. User app await first. Twitch get users logins your Twitch user. Seem to care what your heart is for. Let's just see how this works. Are you still live? Uh, let's throw this. Oh, seriously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
This is how I feel. Flying broken on the floor. Changed. All right. From Twitch API, that Twitch import. For a more detailed documentation on what each endpoint does. So I guess the fortune teller is right. Await Twitch app ID string app secret. Bye. Bye, Josh. Is it is it one already? Ugh. I'm so frustrated. Because not because I'm tired of learning or anything. I'm just I don't want to do this project anymore. <laughs> Ugh. Mm, yeah. Inspiration has one. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. Nothing's fine. I'm torn. <laughs> no. No. My main thing is front end, I guess. My main thing is just fucking learning when I need to do something. I'm just wearing down a little bit. Tonight was hard. I had to let, I had to make a, like a bunch of decisions for improv. This is just the example. I'll just take it out. It's it's not it's not getting this is not getting me anywhere because I don't really know what it's supposed to be doing. So, uh, let's try this. Okay. To get a user auth token, the user has to explicitly authorize on the Twitch website. Fine. You can use various online services to generate a token or use my build in authenticator. For my authenticator, oh, sorry, you guys can't see this. Have you tried a hammer? The pups up again example that is hold on. The pups up example that's right here. Why do I want to do pub sub? Why wouldn't I just do event sub? Is pub sub Hold on. Why is there no channel point? I just want to know which one has channel points in it. Mm -hmm. I still need a web hook. Right? Like, I still need... Hold on. I can't even think anymore. And what is my app ID here? The, like, Mechacracy 
is the only app that I know I work with this. Would this be like... I don't even know what this would be in this context. Like this is this is why this is so difficult. I can't like think past it. So my app ID would usually be like would be another bot, Twitch bot, or would be um really the only time I know like about an app ID and an app secret is is when you're registering a Twitch bot. Or I guess an app. Um so I don't really know. I don't really know what these are supposed to look like, but I guess I could. Hold on. Event Sub lets you li listen for events that happen on Twitch. The Event Sub client runs in its own thread, calling a given callback function whenever that event happens. Um, that your endpoint URL has to be HTTPS, has to run on port 443, and requires a valid non-self-signed certificate. This most likely means that you need to reverse proxy. I don't think I can use this. Right, 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 right. All right. So I guess we're going to just do this the easy way. All right. So instead of, let's see. So instead of, um, We're going to do this. We're going to write. A we're going to write a. Not yet. No, no, it's OK. Why didn't I want to make it an API endpoint? Because I don't want it to use TMIJS, but it's fine. I don't care anymore. Um. At least it will get me to the first step. And that's all I really care about right now. So um, so that I can go to bed, honestly. <laughs> so, okay. So what I'll do is I'll get a, let's see. Um, do I need to even... Do I need to even have a definition? Like, can I just do at app dot get? Um, I don't know. No, this isn't going to work. Oh, fuck. I don't need to use TMIJS to call. Sure, but that'll be the easiest way for me to start. But you're right, or to test it. But why? No, 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 no. I want to listen to you. No, 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 no. Um, why? How the? I don't know how to make an API endpoint that isn't just JSON. I have no idea how to do that. All right, fine. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, how does it? How does an API endpoint run Python? Like, my brain can't. Unless I make it an executable, it doesn't. Ugh. Uh. I don't need a web endpoint hatter. I can host it locally. Right? I don't think I don't think I need I just need a hosted local I can I can host it locally. It doesn't matter. Not on the web. Unless you mean like
Twitch can reach it. Twitch can reach it. Because Twitch is connected to many different tools on my computer. In JS or in Python? Techie. In either? Yeah, gray hatter. So I have like, I have like a, like I could use um, cruise control, which is already connected to the Twitch API and just calls JavaScript. You can, you can write JavaScript functions in. Yeah. And cruise control can, can run JavaScript as well. Um, right. Yeah. Right. It can listen to channel point redemptions. Right. Um, Cruise Control runs on a browser source, though, and that can't access your machine. Can make a call to a REST endpoint on your machine. Be written in your Python app. That's talking to the Arduino. Mm-hmm. Right, that makes sense. No, I don't think so. Cause I, I can already gray hatter. I can already run scripts on my computer, like, or MP3s. So like if cruise control calls it, it like it, it notices the API and then it translates the data to my computer and then it like throws up an MP3. Oh, okay. All right. So then, all right. Um, Okay, hold on. I think when I... Yeah, the Python API we're talking about is right here. This is a Python API. This this is an API that I call f with... Like, Vibrator is a Python API that I call... Yes, you're right, Alan. Hold on, can I just try something? I'm just gonna try something. And y'all can yell at me and you'd be like, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Yeah, go ahead and yell at me, that's okay. Uh, cereal. And then if I do... What if I don't even care, right? I don't care. What if I just pull it into here? I want to get yelled at. Expected indentation block. And then we do... Okay. And then... Why is this mad at me? 
unexpected token in an indent not expected. What are you talking about? Hold on a minute. I won't work. That won't work. Why? Frankie at me. Unexpected token with. So if I do function, oh, define, sorry. Define run bubbles. And then I do. All right. So if I. I don't understand why you're in vibrator right now. That's a different project because it's easy to push it up. And as long as I can test that it works here, like without writing an entirely new app, then I can try it. And yes, I'm trying to backdoor the API. Exactly. <laughs> but Yeah, then I don't have to like it's not it's not because I it's not because I I don't want to like rewrite it. It's just because I it's already built so I can test it. W wait, what? It's fine. Um whole conversation with Earl. No. Oh no, did you yell at me, Pylane? Ship it. No, I have to try it. So then now I need to You can do it. So now I need to see how this works, right? So now I need to uh I need to try it. So then um I mean there's no reason Oh, you're just checking did were you just checking to I don't have to use any of this, so everything else is unhooked from this. Hold on. Yeah, no, this is all unhooked. All right, so then um so then if I if I do bot is this the right bot? I don't even remember. Oh, vibe. Oh crap. Vibe. R underscore. R no rating. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. Um. So then, if I do async function. Right. Hold on. So then. Uh, hold on. I don't want any of this. What is this? Is the rest of Umbop? No. Sorry, whosoever song that was. That was not my style. Hmm? <laughs> okay. At least not right now. I suppose sometimes I can deal with that. All right, let me think about this. Nope, 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 nope. Hold on. All right, so if, so here we go. On connection handler, on vibrating handler target, display name, all right, cool. Unconnected handler. Hold on, shit. Into good vibes. Okay. Unvibrating handler. I need to rename this, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. So then I need to un serial bubbler. It's the third night in a row. I've been up since till like two and I'm like really tired. All right, so target 
is declared but never read context message. And I want message, command name, yes. I think I just want message, right? I think, nope, hold on. Context probably too, okay. All right, so then we've got if display name equals Mecca Chrissy. Don't return, don't return. I need the rest of this in here. So command name, message trim, user contact. I don't need the user. I probably don't need the sanitized message right now, but I might as well keep it. Uh, I don't know why the context matters, but we'll think about it. All right, if command, if command name starts with, we're just gonna say um, serial, let's IRL bubbles. Okay, if command name starts with IRL bubbles. Is this the full thing? It's not. Is this where it stops? No, it's not. This goes all the way down here. Okay. So then we want this to be serial. Uh, it's not a JSON application. This is where I'm gonna like suck, stuck. I would not stream your access tokens. I'm not streaming my access tokens. Am I streaming my access tokens? What? Did you see my access tokens? Hold on, I'm very confused. I don't stream my access tokens. Dad Stack, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So this is not a JSON application. It's not going to work, but it should, why not? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't fetch to it. No, but when you set this up, just making sure you don't when you get there. Yeah, I've done it before. Plop, yeah. Content, but I, I've, I've also doxed myself before, and I've just reset my, uh, my token, so uh, it's funny. Content type doesn't matter in a get request. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. I don't need to await the response. I don't need chat. I don't care about chat. I don't need any of this. None of this. I don't need any of this. All I need to do is get it to work. That's it. I just need it to, I just need it to run. Oh my God. Oh, this is not going to work. It's not going to work, but at least I tried. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Jude. Don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. All right, now I have to start this thing. Uh... All right, so now I'm in vibes. Now I can start it. Uvicorn, right? Uvicorn something or other. I'm with a man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. Take a look at yourself. Make a change. I think I can just run this here. NPM 
I'm just gonna run dev for now. Unhandled rejection. Triggered uncut exception from <clears throat> promise. Oh, this is because I need the Twitch token. So let me grab my Twitch token like I've done many, many times. Uh, and I'm gonna hide it. Um, all right, and we're gonna do interesting I don't remember how to add in the mirror I don't remember how I did this <laughs> almost there, almost there, y'all. Okay. I just share the whole thing. Okay, not really. Okay, good. All right, so now let's get this closed. I think we're going to do it. I think we can do it. Hold on. Let's see. All right, now I can show, hopefully. And now I do, uh, let me copy something else, actually. Okay. Um, I just don't want to paste my token. It'd be hilarious. Um, okay, so now I want to do npm run dev. All right, so that worked. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, it reran. So if I do... IRL bubbles. Well, at least I tried. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I wonder. Okay, so it works if I go to it, but it doesn't work if I call it. So something is... Something, so if I'm close, like it's here, right? Like it's something is... But, so call it nicely. All right, so... On serial bubbler. Am I not calling the function? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not calling the function. That's the problem. Right? Hold on. 
Yeah. Hold on. Client on. That's what I need. I need this. Where are you? Here we go. I wasn't calling it. That was the problem. Okay. Is this going to work? I think this is going to work. I think this is actually going to work. I don't know. Maybe not. But I'm pretty sure. Right? So if I do exclamation point IRL bubbles. Crashed. Why did it crash? What did I do wrong? Um, message shot trim is not a function. Is it? Huh. It is in this one. Message shot trim. Command name. Oh, okay. Can't do that. Then the bottom line. Who knows what they're talking about? That guy is an admin on Twitch Dev Discord. It's not meaningless. He works. Who are we talking about? Oh my God. Stop fighting. <laughs> there is a Twitch Dev server. You're in the Twitch Dev server? Yeah, there is one. I'm very close, y'all. I don't understand why this command doesn't work. It works in this one and not <clears throat> like this is the same one and it and it's not target a on message handle message emit. Uh-huh. Like, I just, I just, why you, why you picking fights? I don't understand. I don't like it. Yeah. Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> I didn't I didn't read anything. I was like paying attention to other stuff. I'm sorry. Um okay, IRL bubble. So something is up. Like for some reason the message isn't trimming. I know. I know. I know. I like yeah. I, I just, yeah, I, just, I don't know. Just just don't pick fights with mods. I just, that's the only, like, there's, like, one rule. <laughs> it's like, just don't. It's okay. Like, I don't know. Um, okay, okay. So. So why is that? Why do you think this is working and the other thing isn't? So here. See how this says, so this says that message.trim and message.trim is not a function, but it is a function. Hold on, maybe I'm, because look, I'm not trying to make it a function. So if I do on, see this right here, constant command name equals message.trim. This one works fine, but then for some reason, 
for some reason, it doesn't work in this one. Let me just, uh, let me just print the message. Can I just do that? I'm just gonna, how do I do that? Uh, console log. Message, right? Maybe that's the problem. Well, no, it is fluff because it works uh, here. Let me just show you. So it works in here. It works in here. Message right here. And it's and it's fine. As a matter of fact, if you if you do exclamation point vibrating, you're fine. So like here, exclamation point vibe. Although I have to restart it. Hold on. Uh, so like if you do. Oh, why are you mad? At message dot trim is not a function. Oh, because it's still reading the same thing. Yeah, hold on. Ugh, so frustrating. Uh, I'll just. I suppose I'll just, I don't really, I don't know. I'll just do this for a second. Okay, so well, what are you mad at me for? Unexpected token, I see. All right, are you better? All right, you're better. Okay, so if I write vibrating, which is the other version of this that has a message in it, so message.trim, see, right here. So if I do vibrating, I should get, my vibrating, which I don't, but that's fine. What the fuck? I didn't get my vibrating. I got everybody else's vibrating. Is this the old one? Yeah, it's not. It's it's calling it, but it's not sending the message out, which is weird. It should say this, you are the blank ranked user of good vibes out of whatever, but this all should be running. It was working before, hold on. Uh, hold on, no, stop, stop it, stop it. This works, it works, it's worked a thousand times. I haven't changed. Oh, it was? Oh, okay. No, no, this is it. Client reply. It's right here. It shouldn't. It, this should work. There's, I haven't touched it. My message is an object? Fluff, this code has worked before. So, okay, all right, hold on, what do you mean? Go back, w what are you talking about? You mean because I'm console logging it here? Hold on, let me unconsole log this because I wanna see this one right here. Right here, these should be the same thing. You should be the same. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That's not what I was sending. Tell me. Right. No, never mind. I'm there. Hold on. To meet her. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's how I'm, um, but still, this should still be wording. Vibrating should 100% be working. I know what I did, but. Yeah, but this isn't working, so that's also frustrating. Vibrating should work. Sanitize message. Message ID constant is starts with vibrating. Response totals, contact with get. That await response, chat total equals zero, let row of data, blah, 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 blah. Like, why isn't there a response? 
Is this outside the function? No, it's not. This should, I'll just add this anyway. Yeah, see this? It's working, it should be working. Hold on, now I'm really mad. <laughs> Vibrating is broken now too. So vibrating, executing vibrating command. It worked, but it's not responding. Mecha Chrissy should be responding. And Mecha Chrissy is not responding. Like if I did vibes. Hey, Z-Man. Vibes. Hey, oh, hey. Not working. This is a... Something else is happening. This is not just me. This is like. Where do you see method not allowed? Yeah, I'm tired. Do I look tired? I am tired. I'm very tired, actually. So what do you, what's method not allowed? Method not allowed. The fuck? Response internals. What happened? Why did my code break? Why did my vibrator break, y'all? Uh, I didn't change anything. I've run it since the last time I changed anything. Oh, you mean like just this stuff? Fair. I mean, I know what I did. I copied it and brought it down here. Breakfast at Tiffany, she said, I think I remember the phone five call. Oh, no. Hold on. Uh. Can I pass this before anything? This would get like mad at me. Probably would get mad at me. that work? Probably not. This runs the sentiments. No, this doesn't run the sen what do you mean? Yes, I'm using this for both because why not? Um the target R. What about Breakfast at Tiffany, she said. I mean, yes, probably. But that still doesn't matter. I mean, sure, fine. I will go ahead and play this game. But, um, but even if I play this game, Mecha Chrissy is not responding to my vibrating. Um, the fuck, why are you mad? Oh, that's why you're mad. And then this also needs to be uh, tabbed between us. I'm just going to drop. Well, I think this broke last time. I'm going to comment that. I said, what about breakfast at Tiffany's? You know you can't do it. It's just for me. Okay, it works. This works. It works. It works, y'all. It works for me, just for Chrissy Codes. Bubbles works. But 
What I don't understand is why am I having trouble with the messages now, though? Wait, but, but, but why is my vibrator broken? All right, so now what we're going to do, I know this is actually pretty interesting. Wait, why are you bowing to Fluff? Oh, I knew the, okay, it's fine. Go ahead, bow to Fluff. <laughs> but that's not the problem that I was trying to solve. Thank you, Fluff. Are we partying yet? No, it's still not where I want it. It's not perfect. <laughs> Welcome to tech. Yeah, but now I have to like, uh, but now I have to like not put it in this API. <laughs> it needs to be in its own API. I guess bubbles can be part of vibes. Like why not, right? Why can't be bubbles? Oh, I see. Where others get the credit for things you do. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Especially because I was like, I'm sure Target has to be here, but like I was just focusing on another problem, but it's fine. Bubbles! I love that you're like... Okay, hold on. So now we're going to make this mechacracy. Uh, and then we're going to make a chat command in Streamlabs because I think I can do this where if um if you do a channel point um hold on can i do a channel point redemptions in here uh let's see events no, betting polls, magic users, currency, counter queue, sound file, song request, giveaway, extra codes, codes. I don't know if I can. Nothing. Is this cost like a channel point cost? Let's see if I can do a Streamlabs chatbot. I want it that way. Might be in currency. I think currency you well, we'll check it anyway, but I think in currency, um, you it's like the type of like you basically rename your channel points, but you're right, it could be Ain't nothing but a heartache. Ain't nothing but a mistake. I can't tell. Live that way. Now I can see that we're falling apart. All right, channel me out of it because I need to twitch channel points. So, anyways, it gives you a blah, 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 summary dashboard how to twitch channel points. So it says. Deep down inside of me. Head to your Twitch creator dashboard. Not this one. Got to be the one on the internets. Ah, you are, you are. Don't want to hear you. All right, so there's a channel points in here somewhere. I never want to hear you say. Oh, no, I don't want to enable Twitch chat points. Hold on. Ain't nothing but a custom reward. That's what it is, custom reward. Under the create a community challenge option. Hold on. What is this? No, this is still Twitch. What? No. That's not what I want. Because I want it that way. Um, analytics, recent events, alert box. 
Uh, do y'all see any like themes and overlays cloud bot? All widgets? I don't want a widget. I don't know. And I'm I'm confused. Hold on. So can I not like can I just not manage channel points with Streamlabs chatbot? That seems dumb, right? I don't want this one. Like, I wonder if it's this. Hold on, let's see. No, it's all commands. It's not. Q? Yeah, that's the chat but I'm using. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Want more bubbles? You'll get more bubbles in a second. Give me a minute. Uh, HS timer. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Sorry. I'm not like, I'm not as good at like, I don't know why I've randomly like touch poll. I don't know. Does I don't, I feel like slobs doesn't chatbot doesn't. Okay. Hold on. Streamlabs chatbot, uh, channel points. Let's see. Add points, commands, and a leaderboard. I feel like it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Does anybody have anything? <laughs> well, I'm upset that vibrating's not work. Does anybody understand why vibrating isn't working? Or vibes? Like, bummer, right? Like my vibrator's broken. Is it cause my, you do? <gasps> you understand why it's not working? For the day. Hold on, let's see. Method not allowed for some reason. Method lot not allowed, like what is this? 405 Can you tell me? I changed something. Fine. What? Okay, I'll just find get to fit. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minus. I got rid of a line that wouldn't have changed anything, but we can go ahead and put it back just for funsies. I didn't change anything on Vibes Handler. It should still, vibes should still work.
I, I didn't change anything. No, there aren't any other. There aren't two servers running on eight. No, there aren't. It's not supposed to, but tell that to a broken implementation. Stop rolling your eyes. Can you see the response? Sure. Do exclamation point vibes and it says method not allowed. Like what? Like what method? Object null prototype. URL sentiment. This is a problem. See this busser thing? This is an issue. This is an issue. Vibrating is also not working. Not, well, vibrating works. It's just not, it's actually just not responding, which is really irritating. Like it's working, but something here is messed up. Data reduced res console log result. Result is sort vibe total minus a uh, vibe total. It should just be, oh, B vibe total minus A vibe total. Why is it sentiment user? Um, because is it the user? Is that what's happening? Because it should know who you are and it should look up. You know what? No, the database is here. Fine. So the database is here. Maybe I should delete the database and start the app over. I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. <gasps> It says symbol map object null pro so the so the header something's wrong with the header or a status text or status is four oh five. Yeah, this 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 is wrong. Something's wrong right here. But hold on. Totals. But this should this should be working. Sentiment user. So basically what happens is someone puts, this is vibes, right? Vibes, yeah. So someone should say exclamation point vibes and then add a message after. So like exclamation point vibes, hi, works well. Vibes, space, hi. But then... It says method not allowed. Like what? First of all, let me isolate. Let me isolate what. So the get method is not allowed. Uh, it's got to be like. A, hold on a minute. Maybe it's the method. It's the get method. But it's not a post. Hold on, but let's go look anyway. Because I did change something in vibes, so it's possible that I messed that up. I don't think so, though, but post chat, get home, sentiment username, put, that makes sense, sentiment get. There's no sentiment with user. Um, so maybe that's the issue is this needs to have like a user in it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, um, I think it's because this used to have a user in it. Mayhaps. I'm not escaping the user. 
Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to do the git diff. You're right. All right, so we'll do git diff. But <clears throat> never mind. Never mind. Why? Oops. How long have I been coding? I don't know. Somebody, somebody do my uptime. You know what? I think it. Whoa, what? Yo, y'all, what the flock is happening? Okay, I think this isn't a me thing. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah. I th I think scroll down on this. Nothing. I didn't change anything. I don't think for years. Oh, yeah, you asked a real question. How long have I been coding? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I guess about a year and eight months ish, I guess. I mean, like, if you count, like, doing Python code. Well, I did. I did change stuff, but nothing below. Nothing, nothing in the space that would ruin anything, I don't think. My vibe thing? Okay. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta... This is how, I mean, I know what you're saying, but like, this is how it's always. Oh. You think I need like, um, like an F stringy thing? Not an F string, but like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to, I need to do this is what you're saying. Something. Yeah. Ish. Uh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I also don't really need it. Weird. Did I make user? He's not saying that? All right, yeah, that probably was an issue. I don't know why it's worked before, though. That's weird. You know? It's weird that it doesn't... But vibe still doesn't work. It's not... Well, yeah. Uh, it's vi vibe still doesn't work, and vibes should still work. Because vibes has nothing to do with the user. So even though, so vibrating maybe will now work. No, I, I think there's something up with the, um, I don't think it's me. Hold on. Hold on. No, might be me.
No, it's Django. That doesn't make sense. This is Django. You mean this? On message handler. Hold on a minute. On message handler. Do some. On vibes handler. I mean, I might need to update stuff, but I don't know when it would be a breaking, like what it would be breaking changes when I didn't install anything new. It shouldn't be breaking changes. Um, okay, so vibes. So split the message. Let's just, um, let's just console log it. <laughs> And then what happened? It's Mecca Chrissy isn't responding, which is really weird. Like this is a Mecca Chrissy thing. But Mecca Chrissy's connected and watching, so it's very confusing. All right, so I just did vibes, it said method not allowed, and it said undefined. So, oh, that makes sense. It should be undefined. Okay. Uh, so it so it knows it. Response size timeout. Hold on, let's make sure Python didn't crash. Python didn't crash. 405 method not allowed get sentiment Chrissy codes method not allowed why what are you mad about this is weird it's weird it's very weird How you doing? Oh, it's here now. So look, wait, Q logic. How did you just get it to respond? Come. So it's calculating everything, but the, but it's mechacracy is not client is not replying. Oh, uh, and it's not working either, for. Sentiment Chrissy codes. Hold on. Let's go to this link. It, yeah, look, it is fine. Why is it saying method not allowed? URL status, status text, headers. What even is this? Not true. The method is allowed, you crazy. The one with the username is a put. It is for vibe. Well, no. Yes, it is. Yeah, hold on a minute. No. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Maybe you're right. Hold on. Let me back up. Let's let's leave it as it is as it was. We're gonna leave it as it was. And then we're gonna do something. Okay, so vibes, I'm gonna walk through vibes really quickly because. Uh, for every message, it posts the chat. Um, Stringifies all this nonsense, waits response, and then lets me know that you've put something in the chat. So it, yeah, so this is good, but it's just not responding to you. 
Some, something's up with the bot. Because first of all, Chrissy Code should not be announcing this. I think this is, hold on a minute. I got to fix this. I think I know what this is. Mm -hmm. Moms to rule the world. Uh, let's do. Uh, what was the when I did Streamlabs? Let me do this one. I know this is probably a bad idea, but no, I'm not going to do this one. Damn, I don't know what happened. But essentially, I am not responding. Like, this should be mecha. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, right here. This should be the client responding should be Mecca Chrissy, but it's not for some reason. It's Chrissy codes, and this is weird. Some weird stuff going on. Like this, this should be Mecca Chrissy. It is not Mecca Chrissy. Why? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. This can go away. Oh, no, that's all chat. That should be totals then. Yeah, I think you're right, Loki. Maybe it's a... Uh... Alan, can you do that again? So that worked. It works, but it doesn't. Oh. Yeah, so it just isn't. It's now it's saying it's okay and it's working, but it's still not responding to you. Basically, it's client respond to target user. Hold on. User, oh, user is context display name. All right, well, who cares? Um, hmm. What I need is anything that responds to a channel point. Uh, that's kind of funny. So like, how do I get, how do I get anything? How do I get this to respond to a channel point? Redemption. I don't know, but I'm going to figure that out later. Yeah. So how about for now? Um, how about who would like to try in real life bubbles? I think maybe Alan. Alan, would you like to try IRL bubbles? All right, Alan, just give me one minute. All right, or a couple seconds. All right, you go ahead and you try it out. I might have to do that all lowercase. But I think you can do it. <sighs> Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll make like a VIP, the bubbler of the day and they can turn it on as long as they don't abuse it. I know, did that feel good? It was cool, right? It's good, it's still missing some love. It needs some help. Yeah, I need to figure out how to get it to do 
to respond to something that knows what channel. Oh, but I, but I'm going to do that. Yeah. All right. Cool. Everybody. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know how it went tonight. I got to admit. Ooh, Aaron is on. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. It was, it was been a lot of fun and I appreciate y'all. And we fixed, we at least got IRL bubbles working and now we got to get back to vibes. I don't know what's going on. We're going to have to fix it, but it's going to be fun. So yeah, yeah. I got bubbles to work. Right. That's all I needed was bubbles, bubbles working. Bubbles. Alan, go ahead. Do it again. Bubbles. We <laughs> All right, everybody, have a wonderful night. Do a raid call, throw some bubbles and some raids in there, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Mm-hmm. <sighs>